Proszę Państwa, myślę, że to już czas, myślę, że to już czas e, otwierać. Dear guests, dear guests, dear participants of our conference, this is the second day of our co conference, evening, evening of the second day. Why? It, it ought to pose a question, why in this uh, uh, old Warsaw Library Hall we have 120 people, audience, 120 audience, in the evening the answer is absolutely simple and clear because we have Georgian evening and we have special Georgian guest, His Excellency Ambassador Dalciashvili. Thank you, thank you, Ambassador. Uh, Mr. Ilya Dalciashvili is a new Georgian ambassador to Poland. Perhaps, perhaps it is one of the first, first public meetings in the university, perhaps the first time in the University of Warsaw. It's honor for us, honor for our conference and for me personally. But, I, I have to say some words for opening this evening. Uh, but not only, not only for Georgian men, it is impossible to open in five words. Even for, for Polish men, especially, especially like me, who was, who have, who has uh, some, some, uh, some medals, uh, orders from, from uh, Georgian nation, uh, including, including uh, order of medal of honor of the Republic of Georgia. It is absolutely, absolutely important for me and my personal history and history of my family. So, I can say, uh, after having informed ab about it, you know that I am partly Georgian man, so it is impossible to open, like in, in the situation of the toes, it's impossible to open only five, ten, ten words. Impossible. So I would like to say, say that uh, in the situation that, that Polish men must say something about Georgia, he, he has some some thoughts, four, five thoughts, general thoughts. The first one, it is memory that in 19th century, uh, in Georgia lived several, several people of Polish, of Several, uh, several thousand of Polish people deported as deportees from Poland after, after many of Polish uprisings. You know very well that in uh, uh, 18, especially in 19th century, we, have, we had in Poland many uprisings. Uh, Oh, against, against 
you got to say it against against Russia, against Russia. And uh, thousands of of Polish people, especially of intelligentsia, lived after in Georgia, particularly in in uh, uh, in uh, Tbilisi. Uh, painters, architects, musicians. Only one name, only one, one name I would like to, to notice in this moment. Zygmunt Waliszewski. Zygmunt Waliszewski, the name that is, uh, uh, that is saint for Polish men and for Georgians. Sigmund Waliszewski, please, please remember it. The second one, the second one, second fold in, in Polish heart. In Polish heart, it is uh, time of uh, beginning on, of 20th century. Uh, in this time, in this time after after Bolshevik attacks, uh, thousands, thousands of Georgians, Georgian emigres uh, were in Europe, including Poland. And in this moment, Polish, Polish uh, uh, authorities, Polish state authorities, especially Marshal Józef Piłsudski, decided to propose for Georgian cadets and officers to work in the frame of Polish army. It was absolutely, absolutely new resolution. Ne never, uh, never decided before because the, uh, they, they were Georgian, uh, Georgian, uh, uh, Georgian nationality and without, without Polish passports, with Georgian, with Georgian on, or so-called Nansen, uh, Nansen passports, not, not Polish passports, passports. But it was a special decision by Marshal Piłsudski, especially for our guests, emigres from, uh, from po po because of pol political reasons. Third one, third one, this, it is uh, Grigol Peradze. Grigol Peradze. Secondly, I can see, secondly, I can say, here that it is a common, common hero of Polish and of Georgian nations, saint, uh, saint now saint of Polish uh, Orthodox Church and Georgian Orthodox Church. But before, in the 30s, in the 30s he was a professor of patrology, Orthodox patrology here in the University of Warsaw. And it was free, I suppose. Four. Uh, fourth thought in Polish heart. This President Lech Kaczyński. And the special, special connections with Georgia. I had for me, absolutely special privilege to be several times with President Kaczyński in delegation, in official delegations to Georgia. It was absolutely, absolutely fantastic, and uh, uh, and I, I will, I will have it in my heart always. And fifth thought in Polish heart about Polish-Georgian relations, uh, relations uh, 
it is one Georgian name, particularly close to me, personally. This Georgian name, David Kolbaya, my friend, professor uh, here in the University of Warsaw in our, in our institute. Uh, for after, after, after having spoken about the, uh, this great, great Polish-Georgian history, now you, it ought to say that in, in uh, the last 10, perhaps 15 years, for the, Univer for the University of Warsaw, name David, da David, da David Kolbaya, it is a part of Georgia. Now he is a, a citizen, citizen of, of Poland, but, but like all Georgians, for, for always, to the end of his life, uh, he will be Georgian. Uh, dear, dear Excellency, dear Ambassador Darciashvili, it was my personal information about that what Polish men think about Georgia in his heart uh, in the moment uh, uh, when he has a privilege to welcome new Georgian ambassador in Warsaw and in the University of Warsaw. I hope I hope that your service here in Warsaw, it will be the best time in your life. Thank you. The floor is yours. Distinguished guests, dear students, my dear compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, it's my utmost honor to speak here today at this historic venue, Warsaw University. And before this distinguished audience, in my new capacity as the ambassador of Georgia to the Republic of Poland, allow me to warmly welcome you and extend my special gratitude for joining the Georgian evening that is held in the framework of Warsaw is the European Conference. It's rather symbolic that this year we mark the 25th anniversary of restoration of diplomatic relations between Georgia and the Republic of Poland. We are proud to celebrate this North Party Jubilee with the considerable achievements both in bilateral and multilateral formats. However, Georgia and Polish close bonds count not only the past 25 years but are deeply rooted in the long history and traditions. Georgians and Polish people have fought for their independence and statehood throughout the centuries. Both shared a fate of being victims of imperialistic and communist occupations, but the two nations continue to fight for freedom as well as provide shelter to each others. In the crucial moments of Georgia, uh, uh, Georgia and Poland, Poland's history, Every single Georgian is aware of Poland's tremendous contribution in strengthening our country's independence. Neither Polish people have ever forgotten the role of hundreds of Georgian military officers and soldiers sacrificing their lives for the freedom of Poland. Poland also knows many prominent Georgians who have lived and worked in Poland. Among them is Saint Father Grigol Peradze. While touching upon the history of our countries, it should be mentioned that Poland was among the few countries where Georgia had established its diplomatic mission. After gaining its independence from the, from the Russian Empire. In this regard, we do believe that Polish-Georgian Historians Commission 
whose work is dedicated to the 100th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between Poland and Georgia, will reveal more, more hidden histories and hidden heroes from our common past. Ladies and gentlemen, Georgia and Poland share common history, common values, as well as common vision of Europe without dividing lines, evolving in peace, stability, and prosperity. Poland is the country with exact understanding of the challenges we deal with and opportunities we are given today. The success of transformation of Poland serves as the best example to us. We feel encouraged and hopeful to follow this path and finally get closer to our main goal, return to the European family to which we historically belong. Poland's efforts to support us in building a democratic and prosperous state and in advancing on our European and Euro-Atlantic integration process are truly exceptional. Today, we face challenges in the region and the destructive actions persist against Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Poland continues to be one of the most vocal supporters of Georgia at every level and every forum. Georgia itself is continuing to successfully implement comprehensive reforms in almost every field of public life. As a result, today Georgia has become a globally acknowledged leader of the region with high standards of democracy, strong democratic institutions, economic freedom and ease of doing business, low corruption, etc., etc. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to witness that bi uh, bilateral cooperation between Georgia and Poland are in active phase and comprise wide range of areas, including political support, education, culture, economic, and every intensive people-to-people -people interaction. It's a great pleasure to observe that more and more Georgians, Georgian youth, arrive to Poland to apply for proper higher education. More and more Polish tourists and businessmen are arriving to, arrive, are visiting to Georgia. It's worth mentioning that very successful state visit of the President of Poland, His Excellency Andrzej Duda, to Georgia and joint political declaration of, of two presidents was a solid demonstration of our dynamic cooperation, advancing the one to a completely new level. Once again, I'm extremely honored to be given this opportunity to take care of these very special relations between our two states as ambassador of Georgia. At the same time, reaffirm our commitment to further contribute to deepening and strengthening this cooperation for the mutual benefit of our nations. As I already mentioned, those achievements would not be possible without strong people-to-people -people ties. The members of Georgian community in Poland for many years have been promoting Georgia, enhancing the awareness of our country and significantly contributing to social, economic, cultural development in the host country. In this regard, I would like to take this opportunity and congratulate Dr. David Kolbaya for being awarded just recently for his contribution in science in Diaspora Awards Ceremony. Being aware that our compatriots are attending today's evening, I'm ex extending my sincere gratitude to them for their valuable input in strengthening our bilateral ties. Before I close, I would like to touch upon the importance of Warsaw is the European Conference that has been annually visited by the prominent Georgian experts and scholars. Among them, I would like to single out the late Alexander Rondelli, who remained rather appreciated participant in this conference. Last but not least, I would like to extend my gratitude to Dr. Jan Malitsky, who, have been, who has been a valuable friend for Georgia throughout these years. Also, Dr. John Michael, who is the director of conference, and of course, those who have helped to carry out and support the Georgian evening here in this very building. Thank you once again for being with us and enjoy your time. Thank you.